in most if not all potentiometer calculations you will always be required to find the potential difference per unit length or potential difference per unit centimeter now the process of finding pd per unit length is what we call standardizing a potentiometer wire or standardizing the potentiometer now in this session i'll be teaching how we find this pd per unit length i'm going to do some examples that are really very simple but they'll try to bring out the concept of how we actually find the pd per unit length in the numbers in the complicated numbers that we'll be doing later on and uh, once you master how we find the pd per unit length that is always the beginning point in each and in every potentiometer calculation we always first have to figure out what the pd per unit length is then from there we are able to find what is required of us so So before us we have a question this is a potentiometer and definitely you know that this upper part is what we call the primary circuit and this down is the secondary circuit this potentiometer wire has a slide wire a b and we are being required to find the pd per centimeter of this slide wire in other words we are trying to standardize it the details of the questions are that if cell x has a negligible internal resistance and wire a b this is which is right here is one meter long and has a resistance of five ohms find the pd per centimeter of the wire so we can go ahead and find the potential difference or the pd per centimeter there are two ways we can find the pd per centimeter the first way is first of all to find the amount the potential difference across the slide wire a b after getting this potential difference across the slide wire a b then we can go ahead and divide the potential difference across wire a b we divide it by the length of the wire to get the pd per centimeter so let's begin with that approach we know that from ohm's law v is equal to i times r now we need to first find the current flowing through the primary circuit so the current flowing through the primary circuit which is ip is going to be equal to um i is equal to v which is the potential difference in the entire primary circuit which is 3v divide that by the effective resistance in the whole circuit now in the whole circuit we only have wire a b and the resistance of a b is 5 ohms so this is 3 over 5 ohms so definitely the current in the primary circuit that's why i'm calling it ip is going to be equal to 3 over 5 amperes now after finding the amount of current that is being produced by this cell it means that that's the amount of current that is flowing through this very wire so we go ahead and find the pd across that wire a b so meaning the pd across a b we shall call v a b the pd across that wire a b is going to be equal to the current that is going through that wire a b multiply that by the resistance of the wire a b now of course the current that is going through the wire a b this one so happens to be the current that is going through the primary circuits the one we found which is this one three over five amperes so it's going to become 3 over 5 multiply that by the resistance of wire a b the resistance of wire a b according to our question it is 5 ohms this is 5 ohms so the resistance here is times 5 and then you find that uh, the potential difference across wire a b is 3 v and well if you look at it well um, the pd that is being supplied the emf of this cell is 3 volts and it is only acting across one resistor of 5 ohms of the wire so definitely 3 volts is all acting along that wire a b so now that we have the potential difference across the wire to find the pd per unit length or call it the pd per centimeter is going to be equal to the voltage across a b divide that by the length of the wire because we want to find the pd per centimeter and in this case uh, the pd per centimeter we're being told that the wire a b is one meter long so it means that since we want the pd per centimeter it's going to become v a b over a hundred centimeters since it's one meter so the pd per centimeter we got was three we divide that by a hundred and our answer there is going to be 0 0.03 volts per centimeter and that so happened to be our pd per centimeter of that number now the second way we can find this is still we can simply go and get this wires the, the, the entire resistance of this wire is 5 ohms 
we can go ahead and find the resistance per centimeter because if the wire from we know that resistance is affected by distance the longer the wire the higher the resistance in other words resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor so meaning that if the distance from a to b is 100 meters and we know that a to b is 100 i mean if the distance between a to b is 100 centimeters and we know that this is equivalent to 5 ohms it means that we can get the resistance per centimeter of the wire since this 5 ohms is evenly distributed along that wire and when we get the resistance per centimeter we can go ahead and find the pd per centimeter by saying v is equal to the current going through this wire times the resistance per centimeter so in simple terms we can go ahead and say that pd per centimeter is going to be equal to the current that is going through this wire which is the same with the current in the primary circuit multiply that by the resistance per centimeter this also gives us the pd per centimeter so this means that the ip which we got here is 3 over 5 multiply that by the resistance per centimeter now the resistance of the whole wire is 5 ohms now since we are looking for resistance per centimeter so we get the total resistance of the whole wire, which is 5 ohms. We divide it by the entire length of the wire. Now, the entire length of the wire, in this case, being 100 centimeters. This is the resistance per centimeter. So, it means this is going to become, uh, by 5 goes with that, 3 divided by 100 gives you 0 0.03 volts per centimeter. That's the other way of finding the PD per centimeter. Let's take this a notch higher. In our next question, we have some similar parameters like before. We have a cell X with 3 volts. We have this slide wire AB, which is still 1 meter long, just like previously. But only that this time around, we have a new resistor in the primary circuit, 10 ohms. And we are being told that find the PD per centimeter when, of course, AB is 1 meter long. And the resistance of the wire AB this time is 5 ohms. And with cell X having an in, a negligible internal resistance. So in this question, we did realize that this wire AB is one meter long, so this thing is one meter long or 100 centimeters, and its resistance is five ohms, this wire AB. Then also, um, with this cell has a negligible internal resistance, again. So we'll go ahead and find the PD per unit length of the wire by first finding the current going through the wire AB. So the current that is going through the primary circuit, IP, is going to definitely be equal to V over R, We know that the potential difference in the primary circuit here, the total is 3 volts, so it is 3 divided by the effective resistance in the whole circuit. Now, in the upper circuit, we have the primary circuit, we have 10, and then this slide wire, a big, which is in series with the 10 ohm resistor, and this is 5 ohms, so it is 5 ohms, divide, add that to 10 ohms, so it's going to be 5 plus 10, and that is going to be giving us 3 divided by 15. And so our current, the primary current flowing through is going to be 1 over 5 amperes. So that's the amount of current that is flowing in the primary circuit right there. So now that we have the amount of current that is flowing through the primary circuit, we can go ahead and find the potential difference across wire AB. So the potential difference across wire AB in this case is going to be equal to the current that is flowing through that wire, which so happens to be the IP, the current in the primary circuit multiply that by the resistance of wire ab and in this case it's going to be 1 over 5 multiply that by the resistance of wire ab which so happens to be 5 ohms and this definitely gives us 1 volt so the potential difference across this wire ab is 1 volt so we can go ahead and find the pd per unit length of that wire ab so the pd per unit length is going to become the potential difference across wire AB, which so happens to be 1 volt, divide that by the distance of the wire AB, which so happens to be 100 centimeters. And definitely here we have 0 0.01 volts per centimeter. And that definitely be our potential difference by unit length or our PD per centimeter. Now, of course, the other method is to first also using the resistance per centimeter like I had earlier illustrated before. We know that the resistance of this whole thing is 5 ohms. So the resistance per centimeter of this whole wire is 5 ohms. Divide that by the 100 centimeters and definitely that's going to give us 0 
so it's going to be 0 0.05 or we should leave it in fraction form so our resistance per centimeter here is 5 over 100 ohms per centimeter so after getting our 5 ohms per cent 5 over 100 ohms per centimeter we can go ahead and find the pd per centimeter pd per centimeter is going to be equal to the current primary current going through that slide wire multiply that by the resistance v is equal to ir so it's the i the current going through the the wire multiply that by the resistance per centimeter in this case the current is 1 over 5 multiply that by resistance per centimeter which so happens to be 5 over 100 this so happens to be 1 over 100 which ends up being 0 0.01 volt per centimeter now that 0 0.01 volt per centimeter is exactly what we got before using a different approach and this is the pd per centimeter of that potentiometer circuit let's take this another notch higher so again here they are being we are being told to find the pd per unit length of this wire ab but now to find the pd per unit length of this wire ab we have a switch in the circuit we have a 6 ohm resistor, a 10 ohm resistor. The question is telling us that find the PD per unit length when the slide wire AB is 1 meter long. So AB is 1 meter long and uh, the wire AB has a resistance of 5 ohms. And then of course X has a negligible internal resistance which is the cell right there. It has a negligible internal resistance. And we need to find the PD per unit length when switch K is open and when switch k is closed so we need to find the pd per unit length when switch k is open and when switch k is closed now we need to establish something here when switch k is open it means that the current that is being produced in the circuit will flow and it will have to go through the 6 ohm resistor and throughout the circuit like that however when this switch k is closed if it is closed it means that the amount of current that is coming in right here because there is a path of least resistance will tend to bypass the 6 ohm resistor so under ideal conditions we shall consider that when switch k is closed the all the current coming in will just bypass the 6 ohm resistor and it means that the 6 ohm resistor when switch k is closed will be redundant it won't be functional so in our calculations when switch k is closed the 6 ohm resistor is considered not to be in the circuit because of that so we'll go ahead and find, establish it. When switch K is open, of course, when switch K is open, it means that all the current that is coming in goes through the 6 ohm resistor since this switch is open. And so it means that the 6 ohm resistor is considered to be part of the circuit. So we shall go ahead and find the pitch by unit length of AB when switch K is open. Of course, just like previously, we will begin by finding how much current is being drawn out of this cell as a result of all these effective resistances in the circuit. So we'll begin. We know that the amount of current produced by the primary cell here is going to be equal to the total voltage over R. In this case, we know that the PD is 3 volts, so it's going to be 3. Divide that by the effective resistance in the whole circuit. Since switch K is open, it means that the amount of current being produced will go through the 6 ohm resistor. So the effective resistance in this case is going to be 6 since it is in series with this wire AB whose resistance is 5 ohms, so it is 6 plus 5 plus this other resistance of 10. And definitely our primary current in this case is going to become 3 over. This gives us 1 over 7 amperes. So this is the primary current. 1 over 7 amperes. So we can go ahead and find the potential difference across the wire AB. The potential difference across wire AB, we can get it by the current that is going through the wire AB, multiply that by the resistance of the wire AB. The primary current in this case is 1 over 7, the current going through, multiply that by the resistance which is 5. So it means that the PD across wire AB is 5 over 7 volts. So now that we have the PD across that wire, we can go ahead and find the PD per unit length. Since we have the PD, so it's going to get this potential difference divided by that by the length of the wire, which so happens to be one meter. So meaning that the PD per centimeter is going to be equal to five over seven 
Divide that by the length of the wire, which so happens to be 100 centimeters. So it means that this is going to become 5 over 700 volts per centimeter. And that so happens to be our answer. The alternative method, of course, to, of finding the PD per centimeter in this case is that we're going to get the PD per centimeter is going to be equal to the current. Multiply that by the resistance per centimeter. Now, in this case, the resistance of this wire AB is 5 ohms. So to get the resistance per centimeter means we're going to get the resistance of the wire. Multi divide that by the length of the entire wire. So meaning that the resistance per centimeter is going to be equal to the resistance of the whole wire which is 5 ohms divide that by 100 centimeters so our resistance per centimeter is 5 over 100 ohms per centimeter so we can go ahead and multiply this with the current so this will simply mean that the resistance per cent the pd per centimeter is going to be given by the current going through multiply that by resistance per centimeter the current going through the slide wire we got earlier as 1 over 7 and we multiply that by the resistance per centimeter which so happens to be 5 over 100 ohms per centimeter and when you multiply that you're going to get 5 over 700 volts per centimeter and that so happens to be the PD per unit length or the PD per unit centimeter of that slide wire potentiometer. Now this one is when switch K is open. We have calculated for the PD per centimeter when switch K is open. Now what about when switch K is closed? So the, when switch K is closed, it means that this 6 ohm resistor is not in the circuit because the current that is being produced comes in and it is going to bypass that 6 ohm resistor. So when it bypasses it, it means that when current come, comes in, it bypasses it like that and continues. It means that when we are going to recalculate everything, but in this case, the 6 ohm resistor is not part of the circuit. It's more of redundant since switch K is closed and current will not be going through it, but will tend to follow more of the path of least resistance so to find the pd per unit length when switch k is closed we this is how we do it of course the current that is being drawn from the circuit when this resistor is not in the circuit will have to change so the new current in the primary circuit as a result of this being redundant since it has been bypassed by us closing this switch k is going to become v over r we know that the PDV is 3 volts, so it's going to be 3. Divide that by the effective resistance in the circuit. Now the effective resistance in this case becomes 5 ohms plus 10 ohms. 5 plus 10. And definitely that's going to give us 3 over 15, which is 1 over 5 amperes. This is our new current now flowing in the primary circuit. So to find the PD per unit length, we will know that PD per centimeter is going to be equal to the current flowing through the wire a b multiply that by the resistance per centimeter that is going to become now current going through is going to become one over five multiply that by the resistance per centimeter of course we got this earlier we know that it is five ohms divide that by the 100 this is going to become one over 100 which so happens to be 0 0.01 volt per centimeter If you need me to do this number for you, just let me know in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.